What's up guys, Mike Herd360. We're gonna talk about camera SD cards in cell cams. The, the SD cards that you use in cell cams. And um, of course I'm using a Ridgetech camera right now. It just happened to be uh, where I saw the issue. So I wanted to share it with you. This, this applies to pretty much every cell camera on the market and even non-cell cameras. I've seen issues like this, but um, I wish I could, I wish I was recording earlier when I first turned this camera on here at the house, it would not acquire 4G signal. It kept acquiring 3G signal. One time it locked up. Actually, the last time it just completely locked up. And I know I have strong 4G, I mean max 4G signal here at the house, but it wasn't finding it. And so uh, I've gotten past that problem. It's not doing it, but I want to show you here something Earlier, what I did was I, I formatted that card. As soon as I formatted that card, it boom, it found 4G signal. Um, and so I wasn't able to simulate it, but I did. This is another card that's given me problems over the years. An Amazon SanDisk card, last card I ever ordered from Amazon. I'll never order another one. Um, I, I just go straight to a BH photo or an authorized re online retailer. But you see it, boom, it, it is locked up. It says check SIM card, okay, but it is locked up. It's not finding any signal. Now earlier it was finding 3G, so I can't even I can't even do anything. It's, it's it's completely locked the camera up. Let's try something. Supposed to be a class 10. I don't know if you can see that. Can't see it real good. Let's go back. There we go. Class 10, 48 megabytes per second. Anyway, we're going to go to this. This is the one I use in all my cell cameras from the Tacticam Reveal, Spartan Go Cam, Spartan Ghost, Ridge Tex. I use this same card. I, just, I very seldom have any card issues. Uh, but this is the card that was giving me the problem. I took it out of another camera, stuck it in this one. It would only find 3G signal. So I formatted the card. As soon as I formatted the card, instantly it found 4G signal. It was stuck on 3G. One time it locked up. I formatted the card in the camera and boom, it went to 4G. Let's see what it finds now. Boom, 4G, no problems at all. But you saw that other card, this one, whatever files are on it or whatever's wrong with it, lock the camera up. Let's do it again. Guys, I'm telling you, SD cards cause so many issues in cell cameras from not sending photos to not taking photos. I've seen it all. I've seen it where the camera wouldn't turn on, um, and then you swap cards and boom, it would turn on perfectly, put the old card back in, does the same thing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put it on setup. As soon as that screen comes on, I'm gonna hit menu, and I'm gonna go down. Let's see, that's the wrong. I'm gonna go over here. Now remember, that card was causing this camera to lock up. Format SD card. Select yes. Format completed. Let's see if this card still causes it to lock up. Boom, 4G. You see that? Turn it off, we'll try it again. This is the card that was making the camera lock up a minute ago. Four G AT and T. SD cards, guys. You could call it a farce, all you want. I've heard people say it's ridiculous to say that. It's not. There's the proof. I have another video on my Facebook page 
of a, of a camera that would not even turn on with one SD card in it. When you put the other one in there, boom, it'd come on and work fine. Always check your SD cards. Format them in the camera. Make sure you're running the right spec. All right, guys, Mike Heard 360 and another, hopefully a helpful tip for everyone. Thanks for staying tuned. This is the Ridge Tech Lookout Duel, but it'll do this in any cellular camera out there. All right, guys, have a good day.